वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम नाइन डैश एट सो स्टेटमेंट इज डिटरमाइन द इक्विलेंट स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन एलिमेंट एट द सेम पॉइंट ओरिएंटेड थर्टी डिग्री क्लॉक वाइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एलिमेंट शोन स्केच द रिजल्ट ऑन एलिमेंट सो यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस फिगर द स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस हेयर दिस सिगमा एक्स इज गिवन एज हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल वाइल सिगमा वाई इज गिवन एज सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल सो दिस इज कंप्रेसिव वन सो सिगमा एक्स इज हंड्रेड मेगा पासकल सिगमा वाई इज कंप्रेसिव स्ट्रेस दैट इज माइनस सेवेंटी फाइव मेगा पासकल एंड देर इज नो शेयर स्ट्रेस देयर फॉर टॉप एक्स वाइज इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वट वी हैव टू पॉइंट इज फर्स्ट वन इक्वल एंड स्टेट ऑफ स्ट्रेस ऑन एलिमेंट एट द सेम पॉइंट ओरिएंटेड थर्टी डिग्री क्लॉक वाइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एलिमेंट दैट इज सिगमा एक्स डैश सिगमा वाई डैश एंड टॉक x dash y dash and also sketch the result on element so let's start uh, with the solution as we have given this state of stress so let this axis is x axis and this axis is y axis clear and we have to rotate this element through 30 degree clockwise so theta is equal to 30 degree and that is clock wise so clockwise angle is taken as minus so theta will be equal to minus 30 degree so what does it mean that if this is the state of stress so what if i have this is uh, our x axis this is our y axis and if i rotate it 30 degree clockwise so this let this is 30 degree that is clockwise so your new axis will be x dash and your new axis this will be y dash so it means that you have rotated this element 30 degree and you have to find the uh you have to find this sigma x dash sigma x dash you have to find this sigma y dash this is your sigma y dash and shear stress top x dash and y dash okay so we have given data we know that uh, mm, we have sigma x is equal to 100 mega pascal clear we have sigma y is equal to minus 75 mega pascal and top x y is 0 and theta is also minus 30 degree clear that is clockwise so we know that transform stress sigma x dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divide by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y divide by 2 into cos of 2 theta plus tau of xy sin of 2 theta now you have all the values you can put it so sigma x dash is equal to sigma x is 100 plus sigma y is minus 75 divide by 2 plus sigma x is again 100 minus sigma y is minus 75 divided by 2 into cos of 2 theta so 2 theta will be minus 60 so minus 60 degree thus top xy is 0 so 0 into sin of minus 60 degree so when you solve this you will get sigma x dash is equal to 56.25 mega pascal now we'll move towards sigma y dash we know that sigma y dash is equal to sigma x plus sigma y divide by 2 minus minus sigma x minus sigma y divide by 2 into cos of 2 theta minus tau of xy sin of 2 theta 
so put the values 100 plus minus 75 divide by 2 minus 100 minus sigma y is minus 75 divided by 2 into cos of minus 60 degree and minus top x y is 0 so 0 into sine of minus 60 degree so from here you will get sigma y dash comes out to be minus 31.25 megapascal now we will find the shear stress in when the element is rotated to 30 degree clockwise so we know that top x y is equal to minus sigma x minus sigma y divided by 2 into sine of 2 theta plus top x y cos of 2 theta so just put the values so minus 100 minus uh, minus uh, minus 75 divided by 2 this minus is this minus is with the whole term so divide by 2 into sine of minus 60 the star of x y is 0 so 0 into cos of minus 60 degree so when you solve this you will get top x dash y dash is Two is equal to 75.8 mega pascal now these are the three values in second part it is given to plot them so at this is your x-axis this is your y-axis and this is your x dash this is x this is y similarly you have y axis will be y dash will be this one so you have to plot that okay so you have to represent this element this angle is 30 degree clockwise so on x axis this will be your x sigma x dash perpendicular to this phase this will be your sigma y dash that is compressive and your shear stress will be this one of x dash y dash and their values are mentioned over here i will also write sigma x dash is 56.25 mega pascal sigma y dash is equal to minus 31.25 mega pascal and this top of x dash y dash is equal to 75.8 mega pascal so this was all about problem 9.8 if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also if you are new to my channel then subscribe the channel and keep watching thank you